Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here, another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to resolve issues you may have with your Wi-Fi, especially if it says you have limited access to a network connection. So this tutorial is going to be very straightforward and we're going to start by heading over to our start button. And we're going to type in power. And when you type that in underneath settings, there should be an option that says edit power plan. So left click on that. And then left click on change advanced power settings. Left click on the little plus sign next to wireless adapter settings. And then left click on the little plus sign next to power saving mode. Make sure it's set to maximum performance here. And if you have a laptop, there'll be a couple different options. It'll say on battery and plugged in. Make sure both are set to maximum performance. And then left click on apply and OK. Now you can close out of this window. And you want to type into the start menu again, computer management. Should be listed right above the desktop app. So what you want to do is left click on that. Now you want to left click on device manager on the left side here. Left click on the little drop down arrow next to network adapters. Right click on your adapter that appears below and then left click on uninstall. Again this adapter might be different depending on what your computer's manufacturer is. So then left click on OK and it'll say uninstalling devices. Then you want to left click on scan for hardware changes and then go back underneath network adapters and then right click on it and then left click on update driver software. Left click on search automatically for updated driver software. This will take a moment to run so just be patient. So Windows has determined the driver software for your device is up to date. You can download driver software online on another internet connected device and then use a flash drive or some other kind of external media and transfer it over here. And then you can manually install the driver software through there. So we're going to close out of here. So one last thing I'm going to try, I'm going to close out of this manager first, is I'm going to right click on the start button and then I'm going to go up to command prompt admin. If you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can just type in command prompt and then right click on it and then select administrator. So then you'll be prompted if you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC. Left click on yes. And so it'll be basically net sh int ip. And then I'm going to do another space reset c colon then forward slash reset log.txt then I'm going to hit enter so we see that everything was reset um, one thing we were denied access for but most of the stuff looks to be good here and at this point I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully your issues should be resolved so I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video goodbye